good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do. Can Zeke Deke again? It's the coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, Ezekiel Elliott, fresh off 100 yards a week ago, as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the New Orleans Saints. With that, let's get over to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome with the call from New Orleans. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And coach, we are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome here in New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Drew Brees getting ready to lead out the Saints. Last year, of course, another big one for number nine. Set the all-time passing yards mark, moving past Peyton Manning. Finished second in the MVP balloting and led the Saints to within a whisker of their first Super Bowl berth since 2010. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field. This is Alvin Kamara who made the Pro Bowl in each of his first two NFL seasons. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. A give. This is Bush. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. It's third down and six. Now Breeze on third down. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 18 there, and the Saints have a first down. Jared Cook is a guy who's been around the NFL. He's been with the Titans, the Rams, the Packers. And the last two years in Oakland, now he makes a move to the Big Easy, where he pairs with Drew Brees and forms a nice little threat. And he'll let it fly in the back. Oh, man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get it. Cook's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Jared Cook, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. 
building confidence after a loss. That's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. And they can talk all they want about putting a loss behind them. I think that drive there did more than any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed. And this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently. But whatever they said appears to have worked. Get ready, get ready, get ready. So here are the Niners now to get their first drive. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan go, goes into go, effect go. early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section. What the columnists write? Possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave what the game plan? I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. 31 yards there and a first down. With that last effort, he topples the 5,000-yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game, but it's a significant achievement and a very, very solid career. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now a man who really stepped up last year. This is Matt Breda. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Second down, a run with Breida. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Kaepernick to throw for it on four. It's complete to Graham. And he's taken down inside the 30. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Kaepernick now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On play action, it's Kaepernick. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. He was locked in. Two trips to the end zone, Charles, over 100 yards receiving. How about the combination of route running, confidence going downfield, and the ability to go up and get the football? You're exactly right. It was hard for them to stop him. Here's Kaepernick. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. the shotgun, Breida, and this won't be enough to pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. Ninth play coming up here on this drive, this is third and a yard. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida, and he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. But quickly. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown number 18 of the year. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Now, let's not forget that was all set up by the fourth down conversion earlier in the drive. Would have been a complete letdown if the drive doesn't culminate this way, wouldn't it? If you're going to go for it on fourth down, your intention...
to make sure you get a touchdown out of the drive, and that's exactly what they did. Converted, and it converted a second time for six points. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Brings up second and seven at the 28 yard line. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Ready? Yellow lady. Mike is 59. Mike the 59. Whoa, whoa, whoa. From the gun on third down, Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And three yards there, takes him to the 45. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust. In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now Breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. D Ford. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession, but likely not for long as they're in punt formation to kick it away. These two teams all tied after one. Now the veteran punter for the Saints, Thomas Morstead, on to punt on fourth down. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. And he's closing in on that number that all running backs circle beginning of the year, the number 1,000. Could do it on this drive. And you have to think to yourself that this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason, right? Not just the workouts, right? Not just getting yourself physically prepared to play, but mentally as well as your team, as well as your unit, head coach, offensive coordinator. We run the football. We give you opportunities. He's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rearview mirror. You really do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about play calling as well. Do you want to call plays to get that out of the way, or are you still calling plays to win the game first? That becomes the burden of the play caller. Now the pass to Grant, and he's got it. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Let's get it. Ready, ready. And go. Here's Kaepernick to throw, and that's Elliott complete. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break.
So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. On first down, here's Breida. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Kaepernick to throw on second down. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. On third down, Elliott. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Over the middle to Kittle, complete. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle with touchdown number eight on the year. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. We remind you that coming up later tonight, Sunday Night Football, seems like we've seen the Seahawks quite a bit in prime time the last few weeks, and we get them again tonight as they head down to L.A. to take on the Rams. And then tomorrow night for Monday Night Football, it's Giants-Eagles from Shelly, Philadelphia. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That My happened name. fast and a big sack. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. To throw is Breeze. And this is Cook with a grab. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. 
Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. And you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. The throw over the middle, taken in. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. The Niners on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 for the Niners there to first down. Throwing on first down is Kaepernick. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Watch the twist. Kaepernick again here on second and ten. Got the connection here to Bourne. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 27-yard line. Kaepernick now on first down. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. George Kittle with his second touchdown here in this first half. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen, and it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. And he's sure looking like a lock for a 1,000-yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he'd probably like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he doesn't, as you noted, there's still time, still opportunity. There's still more games to be played. So, yeah, it's not a lock. But barring injury, it certainly looks like he's going to get there. And what an accomplishment that is. Anytime you get over 1,000 yards, you're celebrated in the NFL. It's been quite a season, still to come. A couple chapters left in that book, though. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Now Breeze. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Let's go! And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott, the passing game. They've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. 
Kaepernick now to throw. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. This quarterback now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. First and ten, here's Kaepernick. His throw caught at about the five. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. This clearly the final play of the half, but no field goal attempt. They're going for it with three seconds remaining. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three.
It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. This will be taken in at the one. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. On first down, Kaepernick. For the pass complete to Ryan Graham. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Ready, ready. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Kaepernick now on first down. That one completes Elliott. 20! And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Into the red zone now, Kaepernick. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle, his third touchdown of the game, 10th on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Breeze now. That's into the hands of the tight end, Ellison. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Breeze on the draw, gives to Kamara. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yard is running the ball will increase 
this is this what goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Kittle last year, what a season. 1,377 receiving yards, an NFL record for tight ends en route to his first Pro Bowl. Not bad for the former fifth-round pick. As you, I remember that game December against Denver. He had that monster first half, 210 yards, did not have a single catch in the second half, but still those 210 yards were just four yards shy of Shannon Sharp's single-game record for a tight end. Again, they'll throw with Kaepernick. Open man is born. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Running out of the gun here, Breida. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breida. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. First down carry by Elliott. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Now they'll throw with Kaepernick. And this is hauled in by Matthews. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence. And he's, and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Kevin Coleman, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. We know that the big guys won't get the credit, Brandon, but we also know that that touchdown belongs to them. Excellent job of clearing the way for their running back. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and Tevin Coleman polished it off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Shotgun now for Breeze. He's got his all pro receiver, Michael Thomas. First catch for last year's NFL catch leader, and it's a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Breeze. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. 
Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw Ready, plays 56. up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. On third and long, it's Breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. You ain't doing nothing to The Saints do snap it. It's Breeze. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. On first down, Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. It was P.J. Williams that time on the tackle. They go to Elliott again. That second down run, a big help as seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. His big game continues. Ten catches now, and another first down. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. To throw is Kaepernick. Got the connection here to Bourne. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Now Elliott. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. From the two now, second and goal. It's Coleman here. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Tevin Coleman, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys continue to pour it on. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that <laughs> as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Out comes the Saints offensive unit and the NFC playoff race. Let's have a look at it. And I tell you, four weeks still to go and everything is wide open. And it's fun. And I know we always talk about what the playoffs were to begin today. And then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. Looking long for Thomas. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Ready? 
The Saints on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and four. Breeze now to throw. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 45. They had a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock. They know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Ready, ready. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third and down. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. 36, 36. Yep, six. Mike, 56, right there, right there. Ready, go. New Young D, Delta. It's just me and you. Hot, hot. They're going for it. It's Kaepernick. And this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So they were really trying to put the nail in the coffin there already with this lead here in the fourth, but they didn't get it. Guaranteed, it's not going to be a fun handshake in the postgame, right? <laughs> you just know that there's going to be some bad blood there. And I know if we go to the postgame press conferences, the winning coach knows he's going to say why he did it. We need the points, okay? Because you never know at the end of the year if points are going to come into the tiebreaker if we're trying to get into the playoffs. That's always the standard justification. Ten yards, good for his Saints. First down. That one caught by Ellison. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Completes it to Ellison to the right side. That throw good for four. It's second down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Ready. 95 56. 95 56. 59. Man, I got you. Man, I got you. Throwing again on second down. Breeze. And this is Cook with the ground. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Bree's going to come up here, first and 10, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Bree's going to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, but it'll be second down. And an incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw, it's Breeze. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. 
And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 18 there, and the Saints have a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. So he's hit Pater twice, but still they're facing that deficit here in the second half. So they're going to see if they can continue to find ways to get him the football because obviously something is working for him to find the end zone twice. In any event, however this turns out, He's going to be hard to deal with in the film room, isn't he? He's going to want to know why he's not getting more passes thrown to him. Those big tight ends are getting greedy. Lutz with the extra point, and that will cut this lead down to 25. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded at the two. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for San Francisco, the win moves them to 12-1 and now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the San... Yeah. 